The Heart of Christ Church presents Moments from the Heart Hello, I'm Pastor Rich Dubs. I'd like to welcome you to Moments from the Heart, a new ministry of the Heart of Christ Church in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. This new ministry is designed to encourage you throughout the day. Every week we'll put a new installment up and it's my hope that you'll join with me as we look to the Word to see what God has to say to us, that we can meet Him in the everyday moments of our lives. Because that's what we have, is the moment, the present. It's a gift from God. So today, for our very first installment, I'd like to start with a scripture that so many of us know, and, and I'm sure you'll recognize it here as we begin. It comes to us out of the book of Romans, in chapter 8 beginning in the 35th verse. The word of the Lord tells us, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution, famine or nakedness, danger or sword? As it is written, For your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Blessed be the word of the Lord. Dear saints, as I read these words, I take great comfort in, in what we're being told here. Because no matter where I am, no matter what's happening in my life, no matter what's happening in your life, God is there, ever-present. He is the beginning and the end. And He sees all things from beginning to end, end to beginning, because He's eternal. We're the ones who are stuck in time. The question that we have to ask ourselves is are we going to see God in our time, in the moment where we find ourselves? Because we get stuck in this physical sense, but God is ever-present. He is spirit and is ever-present, ever, always with us. But are we going to see Him? Are we going to turn to Him and His reality and allow Him to enter in as we enter in with Him? It's my hope that no matter where you are, as you see things going on in your life, the, the day may start out wonderful. And in, in the goodness of a day, we can praise God and say, Oh, this is a, a glorious day that the Lord has made. But what about when things turn awry, when things take that left-hand unexpected turn? Can we still say God is good? Well, the reality is yes. Because in every one of those moments, God is, is there bringing us to a deeper relationship with Him. Realizing in our lives, I pray, that His involvement is to draw us to Himself. That no matter what's happening around us, God is ever-present. He's right there by our side. In fact, many times He's leading us or, or carrying us even through the very things that are happening. God's love, His unconditional love, will not allow Him to turn His back on us as long as we are walking with Him. It's when we turn away from Him or turn to sin, then God has to pull away from us. Because He stays on that same straight and narrow path. So you see, folks, it's really not that He's turning, it's that we turn. And when we look full in the face of Christ, when we put ourselves into that reality that God is ever for us. Who can be against us? And, and that's what the scripture tells us here. Nothing that comes our way can ever harm us to the point that our eternity is taken away. You and I are going to struggle through this life. Every one of us knows it. 
Paul knew it when he wrote these things. That's why he spoke of the things that he spoke of here. Uh, uh, of demons, of angels, uh, of powers. Because those things are real in our lives. But the greater reality is that God is over all of them. And no matter where we are or what we find ourselves in, the unconditional love of God is ready to receive us if we'll yet turn to Him through His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. So today, and I pray that throughout this week, you'll invest in this Word. You'll meditate on this Word. And again, I, I just pray that, that you'll really hear that Word, to meditate on God's Word. And make it part of who you are. To think on Him. Because when we're thinking on Him, the things of this world don't have near the power over us that we lend to it. Remember, this place is temporary. Our home is eternal. And that's where we're from when we come to Christ. So today, remember, nothing, nothing in all creation can separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus. He paid a price that we could never pay. He gave His all. And in that all, He gave it to us. Aren't you glad that God has loved you and known you since before the foundations of the earth? From the heart of Christ Church, God bless you and have a wonderful week in the Lord. You have been watching a Bible teaching from the Heart of Christ Church. You can find us on the web at www.theheartofchristchurch.com If you have found benefit in listening to this message, you can send us an email from our contact page, or if you would like to donate or write to us, do so at P.O. Box 1011, Quentin, P.A., 17083.